In 1972, the results of a shocking study came to light, asserting that 35,000 to 65,000 years ago, a genetic bottleneck occurred in humans. This means that something caused the human population to decrease so drastically that it significantly influenced our genetic diversity today. So, make yourself comfortable, because today we will tell you what caused the death of thousands of humans no less than 900,000 years ago. At that time, no one really had a good idea of what might have caused this. However, some believe that it had something to do with the eruption of a massive volcano that occurred 74,000 years ago at Lake Toba. Some suggest that this eruption, which took place in Indonesia, was so violent that it had a catastrophic effect on humans. Later, it was found that it had an explosive power 10,000 times greater than the eruption of Mount St. Helens, which led to the devastation of local areas and caused a severe climate change. This change ultimately pushed humans to the brink of extinction, leaving only a group of 3,000 to 10,000 people who managed to survive all this. The hypothesis remained strong for a long time and was the predominant belief about what caused our decline in genetic diversity. However, in recent years, there has been a growing consensus that the Lake Toba eruption did not have a profound impact on humanity. The main argument is that while some populations were affected, the groups that should have been most affected were those living near the volcano itself. On the other hand, this eruption was also more recent. Models show that its climate impacts were likely not as drastic as originally thought. Likewise, this hypothesis does not align well with the idea of a population decline. This almost debunked the notion of a bottleneck, and some actually believe it did not happen at all. The 1970s were far from perfect and have also been considered ancient by current standards. However, the popularity of the catastrophe idea revolving around the human bottleneck theory persisted until late 2023 when a much more advanced study conducted by some anthropologists found a severe evolutionary bottleneck that occurred more than 300,000 years ago. A much worse death? The population affected by the eruption was not necessarily composed of modern humans as we had yet to evolve. Rather, it involved an ancestral line of ancient humans. The discovery was made thanks to the analysis of more than 3,000 modern human genomes, allowing scientists to take a sample and glimpse into the past, so to speak. How close were humans to dying out? Subsequently, it was revealed that this great mortality event left a surviving population so low that it almost reached extinction. To put this impressive situation into perspective, it would be like a meteorite hitting the Earth today and wiping out approximately 7.9 billion people, leaving less than 20% of the world's population. Our ancestors would have been considered an endangered species due to all the mortality unleashed. Unfortunately for the survivors, it was not a quick change. After their decline, researchers estimate that this critically low population number persisted for over 117,000 years. During this time, early humans clung to survival, facing constant threats and struggling for every inch of their existence. Scientists also used known fossil remains to perform a sort of bottleneck analysis, citing the lack of hominid bones dating between 950,000 and 650,000 years old. They have only a few specimens from fossil remains at their disposal. Did our near extinction create us? This situation simply raises more questions than it answers as the taxonomic status does not have a clear meaning. Scientists do not really know what Homo is, as the species took the brunt of the impact. Similarly, some research suggests that we can rule out Homo antecessor due to the comparisons between our skulls and the skull of this ancestor. The species in question were more similar to Homo heidelbergensis, an archaic human species considered the last common ancestor between Neanderthals and modern humans. In another twist, Researchers proposed that the survivors of this event may have been the ones who actually evolved into Homo sapiens. This makes some sense, 
as we know that evolution like this sometimes occurs in other mammals during famous bottlenecks, such as the case of genetic heritage loss. The variation causes the new population to become genetically distinct from the original population. Extinction events in general can often play a very important role. Evolution pushes survivors to adapt or die. So what exactly caused this darkness? This is the moment in human history that may have been responsible on its own for the eventual creation of Homo sapiens. As has happened many times in Earth's history, it seems that a dramatic climate change occurred in antiquity strong enough to alter life on Earth as it was known. This change was the most likely event that caused the transition that not only had profound impacts on our ancestors, but on the entire planet. This event was also essentially a major glacial change, being a cycle that previously dominated the Earth. These cycles lasted around 41,000 years and were characterized by providing thin layers of ice. However, after the transition, the Earth began to see thicker ice layers and experience longer cycles that lasted up to 100,000 years, causing immense stress on the environment. It is generally thought that there was a decrease in carbon dioxide. The reduction of regolith triggered a change between 1.25 and 0.7 million years ago. Despite typically being considered a major event characterized by numerous acute and sometimes dispersed occurrences. But before we begin, I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get a surprise, don't hesitate to stay until the end. The feared 0.9 event. This event is known as the transitional event and some scientists assumed that this specific occurrence was what eliminated many of the early human populations of our ancestors, as it was the coldest point during the entire transition, drier conditions were seen even in hot places like Africa and Eurasia. This would have drastically changed the landscape and affected many animals that lived alongside our ancestors, making hunting a challenging task. Added to this, dental evidence actually supports this, as several prehistoric ancestors from that time have different levels of isotopes, showing how they were forced to change their diet in a short period. The humans who fought to survive simply managed to do so. Likewise, not everything was easy for early humans. In fact, sometimes they could not properly exploit natural resources due to their lack of knowledge and scientific advancement. One reason behind this could have been their lack of control over fire. According to current researchers, this is a sign that perhaps our ancestors were not so technologically advanced as they needed to carry out many processes to withstand the cold while having the ability to use fire. This lack of knowledge to harness fire is also an early belief about why humans suffered for so long as survivors were only able to recover after fire became widespread. Subsequently, once fire was mastered by early humans, it apparently would be maximally used to cook quickly in the ashes, as it is estimated that in 83,000 years, the number of archaic humans had increased by more than 2,000%. It is also possible that the lack of other technologies severely affected their home life dynamics, both in food and in their scarce clothing. Tons of animals went extinct. Despite the amount of damage ancient humans suffered, some of the animals were more unfortunate, going completely extinct, including different types of cougars, meganon, and xenos. Meanwhile, their water consumption aspects were not very good either. A separate study found that this event eradicated more than 100 different marine species, a testament to how lucky we are to see each other talking naturally. Did it really happen? Today, there is much controversy surrounding this idea, as some people deny the hypothesis altogether, while others may disagree that climate was the culprit or that the proposed times mentioned are incorrect. Some people even think there was no extinction period, hypothesizing something more random like genetics. Subsequently, a mutation took place that could technically have given a big surprise to the others, but this surpasses the capacity of the population, even scientists. What does new research say? Some scientists and researchers have said that follow-up investigations are necessary to confirm the accuracy of their bottleneck suggestion. 
Fortunately, since 2023, more research has been conducted. One such study took place here, and the results solved some questions while creating some more. As an independent team discovered, it is likely that a bottleneck did indeed occur. All this took place earlier than previously thought, occurring more than a million years ago. The event was not the main culprit. Behind this were our ancestors nearing extinction. But of course, another study has come out that really supports the original document and its timelines. Although I disagree that the cold was the only culprit, this third study proposed that while climate was the trigger, the real secret behind the bottleneck was the massive migrations out of Africa. The idea is that as the temperature plummeted and Africa became more arid, savannah began to expand across most of the continent, driving early humans out of their homeland. Ironically, this is a double-edged sword, as they were able to migrate successfully thanks to the land routes that emerged as ice sheets grew and water levels rose. However, on the other hand, almost no one survived the journey due to the brutal conditions, which included a severe lack of fresh water. The original study has often encouraged further research, so I hope that in the near future we can clarify all these disagreements and finally solve the mysteries behind our ancestors. Let us know your opinion in the comments. If you liked this video, support us with your wonderful likes and subscribe to our channel for more videos about the prehistoric world. See you next time.